today I'm really excited to talk with you guys about science. The really exciting thing about science is that it's an exploration of God's creation and that's what I find so fascinating about it. It's part of what drove me into the science field as a career. It's what keeps me reading and interested in learning more all the time. I'm working in the biological sciences and was very excited to teach my son uh, biology and science when I brought him home from public schools. I sat down with a notebook and put together my ideas for what I should teach and what I wanted him to learn. It really became apparent that I was going to need to teach him science in order. There is a progression in learning, I believe, uh, science that really helps with understanding. And this is not the progression that he was getting in the public schools. This was going to be his sixth grade year in middle school, the very start of middle school, and the focus for the public school was going to be space and environmental systems. Now space is fine to learn about, um, although there's so much to learn about here on Earth, uh, but environmental systems can be a difficult topic for young children. I know it's taught with a lot of environmental responsibility, um, which is great, but this can be depressing. Uh, and children at this age are very sensitive. Environmental science really is the study of systems and biological systems, as well as just chemical, physical earth systems. So to begin that, there has to be a strong foundation in biology. And to understand biology, there has to be a strong foundation in chemistry. Because although biology has traditionally been taught as a bit of a humanities course with classification taking the majority of curriculums, it's now really essential to teach biology with a focus on biochemistry. That's really where a lot of the learning and new science and development and understanding is really focused these days. After some of that biochemistry is taught, some of the biological systems, our nitrogen cycles, our water cycles, all of those could be taught uh, for environmental science. Uh, and understood more thoroughly. So I didn't really want to start with environmental science. But when I was thinking about teaching chemistry, I realized there had to be a strong foundation in physics. Now when I say strong foundation, this is middle school level science. Doesn't require quite the math that a full high school curriculum would require. So, I thought sixth grade is a good time to start at the beginning and work our way through. All of this sounded like a big project, so I thought I'd jump online at this point and see if there was anything available that I could use or modify. Luckily, I found a great program, uh, The Rainbow. After looking at it, reviewing the materials, I bought it and I'm really glad I did. Uh, there are three really great things about the rainbow. It's targeted toward middle schoolers, so it doesn't require advanced math to begin. It's also a Christian curriculum, so it really does have a great attitude, uh, and it's not overly dreary, depressing, and doesn't bring misery. It brings real joy and discovery and discovery of God's world. Importantly, it teaches the sciences in the correct order. Um, when you start at the beginning and work toward the larger whole, you are able to see where the pieces fit in. Just like in mathematics, you start with addition, subtraction, and then you move on to multiplication and division as repeated addition and subtraction. Skills build in science as well. The third thing, uh, is that it included all of the labs for two years. Um, it's, everything that you need for the labs comes with the program and it's really self-explanatory. The lab book 
uh, is easy enough to read. Uh, my son can take out his lab lab manual, learn to read about procedures, learn about some basic science equipment, set up uh, experiments and labs, and demonstrate the concepts that he's learning about. So that's been really easy for me and wonderful that I don't have to scramble around and waste time finding things. It's all right there as part of the curriculum. There is a shortcoming uh, to the program that I see coming up. It's a two-year program and biology is part of the second year program as well as systems and applied sciences. And looking ahead, the biology has a little bit more focus on classification than I would like. I may have to shorten those sections or add some more supplementation. And I have found that I've been inclined to supplement a little bit as I go along with this program. There's not a lot of heavy testing, um, so a little extra review has been really helpful for basic concepts, uh, plus some practice with Khan Academy, a drawing up periodic table. Also videos have been really helpful uh, to reinforce concepts and give some historical background as we're going. Recently read a book and you enjoyed some of Archimedes and the Door of Science. Much of it was really basic, but some of it was relevant and a little bit interesting to read. I hope this video is helpful and you enjoyed some of the information or it got you a little bit further along your path. Um, I've loved teaching science this year. It's been a lot of fun and actually really easy with the rainbow curriculum. Uh, great science supplements that you'd like to share. I would love to hear about them. Please include them down below in your comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>